Hi, this is Abar from Scrappy Mania, and today I'm going to show you a technique um, inspired by Paper Wishes. And they have a, a paper line called Color Me Paper, and then they have a, a second line, Color Me 2 Paper, in where they have some stamp image that they use some um, embossing, clear embossing. And really, their paper is white until you color mist it or you paint it, you, it doesn't reveal the image on the paper. Um, so the Color Me 2 page or the Color Me 2 line that they had, what they do is they actually have some stamp image like you see here and then underneath the stamp image it also has some um, some other image that has clear embossing and then you won't reveal the image until you kind of mist it, color mist it or paint it or however you want to use or stamp I mean not stamp but use ink and it won't reveal the image until you do that so I did that technique unfortunately when I made this page the video didn't upload something happened to it so it's not uploading to YouTube so I'm going to show you the technique um, and this is the way you do it so I have these big stamps that I got and these are the Jumber Cling Rubber Stamp. And I got this for like $5.97 at Joann's. So I'm going to use this rose. What I did is I used some regular paper. And I used repositional in order to make a mask. So I took some of my repositional adhesive, put it on the paper, let it dry. And it creates like a sticky paper. And then I took my stamp and I just you know stamp around the page and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color cut out the image in order to create my mask so let me go ahead and cut out all my image and then I'll be back okay so I went ahead and cut all my images out as you can see here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my flowers on my paper so this time I'm gonna use white paper and I'm going to place my flowers. Okay, so once you have all your images down, as you can see here, then you're going to go ahead and take any kind of, I'm, this time I'm going to use this, this background image, but you can use any kind of background image, and we're going to stamp on the page here. You're gonna use stays on. It's very important to use stays on because if you do, if you use um, distressing ink when you do use your color misting, it's gonna smear. So use some stays on. And and then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp all my page, and I'll be back. Okay, so now we're finished stamping our image. So now I'm going to go ahead and start stamping the flowers. So I'm going to use this Fisker stamping plate. I'm not sure what the name of it, but it's the big one. So you're going to need a big stamping plate like this. You're also going to need some Versamark. And you're gonna need some embossing powders. So, okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start removing my mask. But before I remove my mask, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Versamark. And I'm gonna ink up my, my image. And then before I place my image down, I'm gonna make sure that I kinda, um, let me push this out. I want to make sure I position it just as it should on my and fix this a little bit better. Put some more Versamark. So I want to make sure before I stamp it down, I want to make sure that I place it just above the image. I'm going to remove my mask carefully and then I'm going to press down.
Okay. Gonna do the same thing with my next image. Okay. Gonna ink up my image. And I'm just gonna make sure I line it up. And that's why it's so good with this Fisker, because you line it up, you move your mask, and then press down. And then before it dries, I'm gonna go ahead and put some Versamark. I mean, not Versamark, some embossing powders. So I'm gonna go ahead and emboss these two, and then I'll show you the, the other, the rest of the the embossing technique. Okay, the last bit that I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and stamp these images on. I'm going to do the same technique. I'm going to take, and this time I'm just going to stamp all three of them at the same time. So I'm going to make sure I line it up, remove, and it doesn't have to be real perfect. So, so I'm going to continue heating this and I'll be back. Okay, so now I finished my stamping on all my image and it looks good. And you can see faintly where, let me see if I can see it, see where the roses are. So then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of glimmer mist. So you're going to need some glimmer mist and then some paper towel. And I'm going to just start glimmer misting. Okay, now I'm just going to start using some of my glimmer mist. And actually my homemade glimmer um, mist. And I'm just going to build color upon color on this paper. And um, I noticed that my glimmer mist tends to get clogged. So... Um, if I, I notice better result when I use a spray gun, I mean a, a air gun. I do have a, an air gun that helps create a, a finer mist and every once in a while I use it. But for this project I did it. So now I'm just going to keep on drying in between the layers. So the next layer that I'm going to do is with my watercolors. So I'm going to take the roses and I'm going to just going to add some more color on the roses. And I'm using a lot of water and my watercolor um, um, palette. And if you notice that after I kind of color it, I use a, a tissue or, or paper towel to kind of dry in between. And then I'm going to build more layers by using my um, fire brick color, my fire brick distressing ink. And I'm using a sponge and I'm just adding some more colors to my paper and then I'm drying it in between. Now the last color that I'm actually doing is I'm using gold, um, like a gold glimmer mist, just to give it that sparkle. So there you have it. This is my sheet and it's gonna, and then stay tuned for a layout that I'm gonna be showing you on this one. And this is using the same technique, but with a finished layout. It looks very nice. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And come back to see me for some more. And I'll show you a layout that I will create using this paper. Thank you for watching. Bye.